It was the autumn of 1938. Winston Churchill was approaching his 10th year in his political wilderness. He was still a member of parliament, but without ministerial power. He observed throughout the 1930s, Germany's rapid rise. The Nazi party came to power, led by Adolf Hitler. Churchill saw this as a treacherous threat. Not so Neville Chamberlain, Prime Minister of Great Britain, who, in the autumn of 1938, visited with Hitler, returning home to England on the 30th of September, where he proclaimed to the British people famously, my good friends, for the second time in our history, a British Prime Minister has returned from Germany, bringing peace and honor. I believe it is peace in our time. Go home and get a nice, quiet sleep. Churchill did not sleep. In fact, he knew very, very well that the policy of appeasement was folly. Over two weeks later, he took to the airwaves, making a famous broadcast to the American people, declaring, we must arm. Churchill knew that he had to remain vigilant against the Nazi threat. In fact, it turned out to be true. A year later, Germany invaded Poland, triggering the onset of World War II. Less than a year later, Churchill himself was Prime Minister. It was at this treacherous and pivotal time that Winston Churchill took to his canvas and painted a painting, the only painting of his 570 known canvases that mixes painting and politics with a formidable warning. Tune in next time when we discuss Beach at Walmer, Winston Churchill's only painting that mixes painting and politics and a hidden self-portrait.